Hello, you're welcome to this lesson. In this video, I'm going to solve this question I have on the screen. The question says we should use the Venn's theorem to find the current across the 5 ohms resistor. So let's look at how you are going to solve this question. So to solve this question, the first thing I'll do is to solve for the VTH, okay? Then after finding the VTH, we find the RTH, which is the Thevenin's resistance. So to find the Thevenin's voltage, I will already draw the circuit, okay, which will give me this circuit I have here, which is this second circuit, okay? So I will already draw the circuit and then take out the 5 ohms resistor, okay, which is this 5 ohms resistor here. Then we find the voltage that will be across the terminal where the resistor was, and then that will be our VTH. So let's look at how you are going to find the VTH. Okay, so to find the VTH, okay, I will consider the left hand side or the left part of this circuit. Okay, I will not consider this part of the circuit because you have an open um, circuit here. Okay, you have an open circuit here. Which means that uh, when current uh, is coming from this direction, okay, and it gets to this node, it will not move in this direction, it will go back to this direction. So I will leave this um, the right part of the circuit and then focus on the left part. So let's go what will happen. So for the left part of this circuit, okay, current will flow, current will go in this direction, okay, and then when it gets here, it will split okay to split into two so let's say this is i this will split into i1 and then i2 okay the i2 will not flow through the six ohms because of the open circuit here okay so the i2 will flow through the eight ohms and then will flow through the four ohms okay and then back to the source so let's look at how you are going to find the vth okay so to find the vth we must find the voltage drop across the 8 ohms resistor, which is this this 8 ohms resistor that I have here. Okay, if you're able to find the voltage drop across this 8 ohms resistor, that will be the same as the VT because the VT is connected to the same uh, node that the 8 ohms is connected to. So our main aim here will be to find the voltage drop across this 8 ohms resistor. And to find the voltage drop across this 8 ohms resistor, we must find the current flowing through it, which is the current I2. So let's look at how you are going to find the current. Okay, so for us to be able to find current I2, we must find the total current flowing through the left part of the circuit. Okay, so let's look at how you are going to do this. So in doing this, this 8 ohms here, okay, will be in series with these four ohms here okay and then at the end they will all be in parallel with these eight ohms here okay so let's look at how you are going to do the calculation so calculating for the total resistance for that circuit we're going to have eight plus four okay multiplying eight and then all this divided by eight plus four plus eight okay so let's see what you are going to get for this so you're going to get 12 times 8, okay, which will give us 96, okay, divided by 20. Okay, so let's see what you are going to get. So that gives us a value of 24 over 5, which is the same as 4.8 ohms. Okay, so we are going to add this 4.8 ohms to this 8 ohms that we have here. Okay, because they are all going to be series, they are going to be in series at the end. So you add it to these eight ohms. So let's go out. You are going to do. So then you are going to add the total resistance to be eight plus four point eight. Okay, and then this will give us a value of twelve point eight ohms. So now you can find the total current flowing from the ninety volts voltage source. So that will be I. And then that will be equal to ninety divided by twelve point eight. Okay, so let's simplify this and see what you will get. So 90 divided by 12.8 will give us a value of 7.03 amperes. Okay, so that will be the current I. But now you want to find the current flowing through this 8 ohms here. Okay, 
So what we do is that we are going to use the current division rule to find the current flowing through the eight omega, which is the current I2. So you are going to have I2 to be equal to the theta current I, okay, multiplying these eight ohms, okay, these eight ohms. So eight over then I'll add the two of them, okay. So I'll add this and this, okay. So that will be divided by eight plus eight, okay. And then don't forget this four because this four is in series with this eight here, right? So plus four, okay. So now let's simplify this. So I'm going to have seven point zero three, okay, multiplying. 8 over 20. Okay, so let's see what you are going to get. So you have 7.03 times 8 over 20. So this will give us a value of 2.812 amperes. So that will be the value of what the current flowing through the 8 ohms resistor. So now you can find the voltage drop across the 8 ohms resistor, which will be, let me name it as, let me name this node as C. Okay, and then V. Okay, so I'm going to have VCD to be equal to 8 times 2.812. Okay, and then this will be equal to 22.496 volts. Okay, 496 volts, and then this will be the same as the VTH. So now you know the value of the VT, so you have to find the RT. So let's look at how you are going to do this. Okay, so to find the RT, I will redraw the circuit and then short circuit the, the voltage source. So you see that you don't have any voltage source here okay so now let's go ahead and find the outage so i'll start from this side okay so from this side these eight ohms okay will be in parallel with this eight ohm okay and then and then it will be in series with this four ohm and then will all be in parallel with this eight ohms okay so let's go what you're going to do so first of all i'm going to consider this eight and this eight that are in Parallel. So I'm going to have 8 times 8, okay, divided by 8 plus 8, okay, and then that will be in series, in series with this 4 ohms. So I'm going to add the 4 to it, so that will be plus 4, and then that will all be in parallel with this 8 ohms here, okay, so this will be parallel 8. So let's simplify what you have here. So you have 8 times 8 divided by 8 plus 8, okay, plus 4. So this will give us 8. So then we are going to have 8 parallel 8, which will be the same as 8 times 8 divided by 8 plus 8, okay. And then this will give us 4. So we're going to have the filter resistance to be 4 ohms here. And then we now come and add it to this 6 ohms here because they will be in series. So we're going to have the 4 ohms plus the 6 ohms. So then you're going to have the 7 inch resistance to be 10 ohms. Okay, so from here you can draw 7 inch equivalent circuit and then find the current flowing through the 5 ohms resistor. So you're going to have the VTH here, which is 22. 496 volts and then you will have Tevenin's voltage here, which is 10 ohms okay and then I'll bring the 5 ohms here so let's find the current flowing through this circuit so for this circuit you're going to have the total resistance to be 15 ohms okay so from here you're going to have the current the current flowing through the circuit to be called to 22.496 okay divided by 15. So let's simplify this and see what we get. So 22.496 divided by 15. That will give us a value of 1.4997, which I will run to 1.5 amperes. 
this will be the current flowing through the five ohms resistor